It is the 33rd day of the war in Gaza. Israel still heavily bombing Gaza City with tens or hundreds of airstrikes every day. Last night, I witnessed three recent airstrikes at the neighborhood where I am sheltering with my family. I can't describe the extent to which those bombs are horrible. The building was shaking like a strong earthquake. We don't know what are the targets. We don't know even if we are the target. It seems like we are the target at this point. We don't know where to escape. I asked women to take the kids to the stairs. Then men followed them because we think it is safer. We don't know if it is really safe, but this is the only option we have to run. The children was terrified and crying, asking their parents to hold their hands to feel some safety. Today in the morning, I went to collect some drinking water from public water well in the neighborhood. The water is not desalinated and not disinfected. This is the only source of water we have to wait and we have to wait for around three to four hours to get 10 liters of water every day. Food is another story. We have limited resources of cooking gas and the available food need to be cooked such as rice and lenses. No more canned food in the market. So we reduced the adults food to feed the kids with the remaining stored food. We have to wait for five to six hours to get small amount of cooked soups. Many others can't even afford the soup. Many others can't wait for five to six hours and then they still hungry. When I was out of the shelter, I saw huge destruction on three buildings. The civil defense was trying to find out if there is any lives under the rubble. The neighborhood still has tens of families who refuse to evacuate while they are fighting to get some drinking water and some food with the limited resources we have.